Hello everyone, I'm Axel Sims, and this is the actual finale of the uh, Final Fantasy IV Knights of Baron Challenge. These are our stats. Dead people, living person, dead person, dead person, living person. Pause the video if you want to see the specifics. Got the Genji Shield, Endless Dragon Mail, and Tech Ring, and Excalibur Crystal Shield, Tech Ring, and that's what we're sticking away. I have just beaten him, so I know it can be done! So, it's time to reenact one of my favorite scenes in the Final Fantasy universe, and actually defeat him this time. Now, you may be wondering what I did differently this time. Uh, I did not. I did end up getting a few levels. Uh, it was unavoidable. I ended up having to walk back and to the naming ways little gathering area. Sell off all my equipment. Most of it was like five gold, which really disappointed me. But regardless, oh sorry, Gil, for all you people out there, like it's Gil, not gold. Anyway, went back, sold everything, bought twenty elixirs. So yeah, I gained a few levels out of it. But for the most part, I'm still under level ish. I'm just kind of level like, fighting for the fight match. But, you know, for my challenge, you know, I'm not level 99. And I didn't really go out of my way to level right? It just happened because I ended up having to kill a couple of behemoths, and Zemus' breath gives you like 10,000 experience each. It's kind of ridiculous. But regardless of the point, it's time for the finale. It's time to finally finish off this challenge and move on in our lives. Edge, you're dead. You can't take care of shit. The hatred in Cecil's heart causes Romans to rise. It's not the hatred of the universe or anything, it's or his hatred or anything. It's Cecil's hatred for his brother. That's the only thing it is. Yes. No, he's lying. He's not the hatred of Zemus, he's the hatred of Cecil for his brother, because Goldez is just too much of a badass. His power levels are over 9,000. Yes, I really made that joke. You can all baseball now. I do hope nobody called me, because I just realized I did leave my sniper. And it would be quite an awkward fall, especially if I was having positive in this battle. Really hard. I don't even know if you can. Hold on, let's check. Yes, you can actually pause in this battle. I never knew that. Well, you learn something new every day. Yes, Meteor has no effect. Use the crystal, because the crystals solve everything, just like praying is. If there's some evil monstrosity out there in the universe that's about to kill everyone that you hope and love. Hope and love? How do you hope someone? Sorry. My allergies have been affecting it just a tad, so my voice is a little off. And I also have a really bad tendency to <coughs> cough. Yes, join us in hell. And by hell, we mean the moon core, because that's where we are, not hell. It's time to use the hope and pray method. Hope and pray! Yes. Hope and pray, everybody. Hope and pray. Pray with me. Pray, viewers. Pray for the victory. Except you already watched this before, so you should know what happens. It works, but okay. Like, you really didn't expect it. I mean, what kind of an ending would it be if... See, now this would happen in future games. Like, now, current games, it would be like, oh yeah. He would, Cecil would stand up, and then it would cut the credits. Right then and there, you'd have to fight the next one. Except then you would have to lengthen the entire game. So it'd be, got, it'd be like God of War 3, you know, you'd be like, Oh, I'm climbing the mountain to kill you! And then you fall off the mountain, and then you have to start all over. Which makes so much sense. Brother! No! You're lying on the ground! You kind of look like an ox with your horns like that. Here, take some kid's power that you never used. It makes sense. Yes, take the bard and sage's power that you also didn't use. Think of how easy this could have been if you just used your party members. Does this count as cheating? We are usually, we, we are technically using them. 
And it wouldn't be that hard to get back to his life. I mean, you just pull a lot of an elixir before you can use this big bang, and then you can use the Phoenix down on the game. Jump! Jump! No, not attack! Jump! Jump! Okay, now, Bristol. Let's see if we can time this right. We're not gonna time this right at all. You defend. No way, useless is back in the earth. Okay, never mind. You're just a big brother. What you think would be really awesome. Oh. You would be wrong. Attack! Defend! No pain can blast. It's okay. Pain getting blast. We can take generally two big blasts before I'm gonna use my so. See, now after this blast, I'm gonna use the laser. So that's all the pain dunk and get one of pain spot. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just cast Cure on myself because of how uh, little damage that one did. Usually it does over 2,000 damage, but this time it did nearly as much. That, that about that much. I don't know. Usually just keep your health over 2,000 and you should be fine. Jump, damn it, don't stand there. Let's see if we can get Kane off. Yes, I don't know why it does that. I think it might be the emulator, but there's no way in hell that I'm playing on another emulator this far into the game. And Cecil is dead. And I might have died already. Because of Big Bang. Nope, we're gonna live. Oh, wait, no we're not. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, after that little break. Um, <laughs> yeah. Failed attempt. Number one. Let's see how many we can get, eh? Uh, that was only about two thousand. I'm so used to them having. Oh boy, this double one. This actually happened last time. When I actually succeeded to use two things in a row. Alright, you're fine. You can jump. So that's all we need to heal. Okay, Alright. Man. Let's hope that doesn't work again, huh? Damn misclicks. Damn this controller. I really need to get a new one. I could just use the keyboard. Sometimes, you know, this stuff is really sticky. You know, buttons on. I wonder what's from. Okay. Inappropriate, I know. Inappropriate? On a channel that reads fanfiction about ponies? Unacceptable. Oh, actually, I can use your. I mean, I don't have to be careful with my elixirs. I mean, I got like 20, but still. Just because I don't want to die and run out. Well, I don't want to run out. Which I got's gonna happen, but still, you never know. I've seen, I've seen weirder things happen. I think, yep, he's going to get through this new thing on stage, then I'm going to use the elixir on Cecil. If only Cecil had a hide or jump command, that would be so useful. Except it wouldn't make any sense, seeing as how high it wouldn't work and he's not a dragoon, so jump wouldn't make any sense either. Perhaps if he had like a shield that would block everything. That would be interesting. Time to jump. Oh, he's gonna block another big thing. Wow, I'm getting good on the time. I'm not good on the time. Getting one beat while I do this, so whatever. Blah blah. Thank you. Alright. Come on, get more than like two hit things. That's more like it. Your 
or not stuck out of this. Or maybe not, hopefully. Good, easy. Oh, wow. Let's see if this is going to be a cure, or no, this is going to be a cure. I'm actually going to. Yeah, you're going to die, aren't you? No, you're not. You're getting an elixir. Have an elixir, buddy. It's like, no, you're going to die. No, you're not going to die. Get an elixir. The good thing is that at least he cancels that bleeding effect, or whatever the hell you call it. The one where you constantly need Oh, it's really nice. It's like, I know I just flicked this on you. Here, let me clear that for you. You're not gonna get out of this jump. Good job. 
Good job, Cecil. You're a manly man. And we dodge the Big Bang, I think. No, we don't. Damn it, Kane. Your timing is terrible. It's okay, though, because none of us die. Except for those. But those aren't important. I kind of liked it how in Final Fantasy V, Final Boss Fight, uh, any of the cards that are actually KO stay dead. That was cool. I also wondered why 4 has one of the few games in Final Fantasy series that have 5 cards. In fact, I think it might be good. starts casting Meteor, I don't think he ever uses Big Bang again. In fact, we just killed him. Wow. Money. Money makes you win. Money is power. That is the lesson today, kids. If you're having trouble in life, get money. And that's actually kind of true. Wow. I'm just being really dark today, aren't I? Six did it better! It just makes it look like you're going down! And then downhill or into the menu. The menu is actually the winner here today, kids. He used Absorb and Absorb's Aroma's full, and Cecil and Kane would die to talk because he was a better version of the leader, but actually didn't do like 900 damage. I never understood how it did only 900 damage either. It's just like, wow, no. You kill Golbez and Soya and one meteor, and you use it on Kane, just Kane, and you do only like 900. So I guess Aromas is darkness in general. And the useless people stand back up. And the badass people stand back up. And with a flashy background and bouncing of everyone except Cecil, it disappears forever! Or is it? Bullshit. And apparently they took this side a little bit too far because in Dissidia, Cecil can willingly change into a Dark Knight at every second. Oh, shut up. I'm glad you have such wonderful friends that have been dead this entire journey. Oh yes, I forgot that you are actually the Narian. Yes, you can come along. Don't worry about him, you're just too badass for his taste. Get on my level, son. Yay! 
Yeah, he's your brother, you dumbass. Come on. Goodbye, everyone that I killed. Goodbye, my brother. You're much more badass than me, but it's okay. And let's watch the ending.
and Callum are both horned hogs. Sid is apparently a makeup artist. The Dwarf Kingdom King Geot is the badass. And Yang is a bluttering idiot for some reason. And apparently Edward made a paladin song. Wonder what it did. Also, apparently Golbez has gotten with the proper tongue and says so long instead of farewell. Or Godspeed or something like that. I don't know about you, I just can't see Golbez saying so long, brother. Be more like farewell or just, you know, something silly like that. Anyway, so yes, the moon goes away for no reason. And yet comes back in the second one. Oh, it doesn't come back, sorry. A different one. That's spoilers. Do, 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 do. I always thought it was weird how Cecil and Rosa got two separate beds and just put them together. You think they would have gotten like a really fancy bed, seeing as how they're apparently the king and queen. And gotta admit, Yang being the like, call me my king instead of honey. Know your place. Give me a sandwich. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright. So, everyone. This is actually Sims. This is Final Fantasy IV. And we finished it. The Knights of Baron challenge playing through the game with only Cecil and Kane without level grinding too much. In other words, we weren't level 70, which I'm happy about. I'm very happy about that. We had to get like 50 or 20 elixirs, but that's not the point. That's not the point. It's not the point. Shut up. I did it legit, okay? Except for that one fight where I had to do it over again, and then I ended up using it to like, make it five minutes faster. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Also, it doesn't look like the meteors are kind of going out, oh sorry, they're asteroids, are uh, going out in patterns, figures, kind of. Oh, well, anyway. So, uh, stay tuned. I don't know what my next main LP will be. Don't know how long it's going to take either. But hopefully it won't take as long as this one, because this one did take quite a while, because I was being lazy. But that's not the point. It's, it's, it's finished. I'm happy I'm done. This is a great game. Good night, everyone. Good night. Also, Kane's Just kidding. He's a badass, too.